everyone. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at duplicating or repeating calendar invites. This can be beneficial so that you don't have to recreate things each time you go about setting a meeting up. To get started, we're first going to just schedule a meeting on multiple days. I've already got this meeting scheduled from 9.30 to 10.30, and I want it to happen every Monday for the next month. To do that, I'm going to click the three dots to edit, and underneath where it says does not repeat, I'm going to change this to weekly on Monday. You'll notice that you have a bunch of different options as well as a custom to lay out as well. I'm going to choose weekly on Monday, but you know what? Now that I think about that, I don't want this to go forever in the future. So I'm going to select custom. I want to repeat every one week on Monday, and I want it to end after the four weeks in this month, or perhaps I want it to end after a specific date. Once you've got that, you would just select done, and it's going to do weekly on Monday for four times until that event is done. Try to avoid setting custom events that continue forever in the future because that just clutters up lots of people's calendars with things that maybe don't need to go on that long. Now let's take a look at duplicating a specific event. Maybe I want this event with all of these details to occur on another day on my calendar that doesn't really work with the options available to repeat an event. To do this, I'm going to click the three dots and select duplicate. And then from here, I would just choose a different random day and notice that all of my details stay the same and I'm going to select save. If I were to highlight these two weeks, I can see, or wherever I put this other meeting, I put it on Friday at 9.30, it's there as well. Now, another reason I may want to duplicate a meeting is, let's say I have more than one calendar. And right now this meeting is on my personal calendar. I can tell it because it's in that light blue and my personal calendar color is light blue. But I also have this school-wide calendar that I want my staff to be able to see this event as well, or maybe my department or another group of users that have access to this other calendar. To do this, I'm just going to click the three dot or select that meeting, select the three dots, duplicate, keep the same date, but this time change it to a different calendar and select save. Now I notice it looks like I have two meetings at 9.30 a.m., but they're the same exact meeting. It's just now the other users on this other calendar can see these details as well because I typically don't share all of the details of my school calendar with everyone that is in my building.